Hello dear students, uh, this is Dr. Banu Rekha, uh, belonging to the Department of Fashion Technology, Kumaraguru College of Technology, affiliated towards the uh, Anna University. Today, we are going to discuss about the process which is the most creative and innovative pie of the glamorous cake of fashion industry. Garments are depictions of cultural symbols, values and ideologies of the society. Garment styles become commercial fashions when they pass through processes that transform them into products that appeal to buyers in consumer markets. Fashion is converted to commercial assets when they are a part of the commercialized economic system. Fashion industries are concerned not only with the production of such commercialized garments, but also with the creation and exploitation of the meanings embedded in and around them. So the main purpose of product development process in the garment field targets at ensuring customer satisfaction. Fashion design development is defined as a design and engineering of products that are serviceable for the target consumer, marketable, manufacturable and profitable. The product development in garment industry right from designer's idea or the initial design concept till the production of market ready product is a very long and complex process. With the increase in competition and the complexity, the apparel industry's focus on measures to monitor the process involves introduction of stringent quality systems. The globalization of garment production has resulted in a tendency to split elements of the product development and production processes between different countries based on the resources and skill set involved. The rapid development of product development technologies and communication technologies has enabled people at multiple locations around the globe to seamlessly integrate, collaborate, communicate and manage the product development process. Also, it is apparent that not only apparel manufacturers but also apparel contractors, subcontractors and specialty contractors have launched design and development units within their organizations for the retailers and brands to select designs without spending time and effort in product development. The apparel product development processes encompasses all these. Market and trend research, setting goals for the season, providing solutions to problems and needs, conceptualizing fresh user experience, product samples with required standards, sourcing the raw materials, developing new products and services or improving on the old, manufacturing the product styles using technical design processes, selling the product line, driving increase in sales and profit for a given company, increasing customer base and market share. Some of the uh, departments which are involved in the apparel product development are According to the activities, we have research, brainstorm, design and if the design is approved, then it goes for the next uh, step or it goes back to the revisit of the design and once it gets approved, it goes for the final artworks. The final artworks then go for sampling and the samples have to be approved and we have to keep repeating the samples till we get the approval and once this is approved it goes for the production and then it goes for the delivery. So all the blue uh, circles, so the processes of the blue circles it belongs to the design department and those are the pink belongs to the production department. And these are the three main stages of parallel product development. We have them as pre-adoption, line adoption and post adoption. Under each of them we have the sub, uh, sub uh, processes which are available. Pre-adoption, they have the design development, tech pack development and sourcing of raw materials. Under line adoption, we have line presentation, development of a collection, developing sample garments. Under post adoption, we have engineering the production pattern, perfect styling and fit, quality specifications and estimating the operation costs. So now coming to the uh, new product development which is involved in the apparel industry, this flow chart describes all the processes which are involved. We have the line planning and research, design concepts which involves line concept through research, design development uh, where, where we have the line development and the developed lines are then presented and marketed and then they are uh, they are sent for production planning and pre-production 
and then we go for the line optimization. So coming to the first stage, line planning and research, the product development process is a team effort by a number of people involved from a number of departments in an apparel organization. The initial step of this process is planning a line of products for a particular season or particular time period depending on the company's selling seasons or selling practices. The product development team is generally comprised of several people from the designing, merchandising, research and development and raw material development, technical design or product engineering, sales and marketing, finance, graphic design, sourcing, operations, planning and quality assurance. The product development team uses information from research on trends, colors, materials, previous successes or failures, past sales records, experience from previous lines and markdown reports, etc. to brainstorm a plan for the new line. The information from this effort will assist the designers and the product development team to formulate a plan for a new line with a positive brand image to influence the consumer segment that the company is targeting for its sales. Design concepts. This stage it concentrates on line concept through research. After planning, the product development process begins with the design, which is a critical component of the development of fashion products. The design process begins with a line concept which explains the mood, theme and other key elements that contribute to the identity of the line. To develop the line concept, the designers obtain their inspirations for, for designs by conducting research. This involves market research and fashion research from which they interpret findings into styles considering the brand and the target consumer. The market research provides information that helps the company to understand the consumer de demands. This is done by investigating the target consumers and their behavior, their preferred product designs and characteristics, and the general market trends. The fashion research provides trends for the season as slots, design details, colors, fabrics, and trims. Designers play a vital role in bringing the textile design ideas. Textile designers get their inspirations from mood boards from the design team, catwalk reports, print suppliers, and observing other fashion manufacturers or retailers. The companies that conduct trend research evaluate what has occurred in the past and, pro and project what may happen in the next season, tracking economic trends, social and cultural trends, technological advances and political influences, which may all have an impact on the product design as well as on consumer behavior and spending. Collaborating with the designer, the merchandiser will review the trends, analyze previous sales, consider the budget allocated and projected sales for the department or account, and come up with the line plan. With the product designs for the line finalized, the design development process begins. Now coming to the design development where the line is developed. At this stage, the designers interpret the research findings and translate the line concepts into styles, considering the sales potential, appropriateness for the brand, target consumer, and the product line. And the activities involved in the stage are raw material development, testing and approval, color testing and approval, acquisition of sample yardage, pattern making and fit approval, style evaluation and approval, wear testing and preliminary costing leading to finalizing the sample specifications and translating the line from sketches to actual product line. Merchandising, marketing and product development teams will review the samples to make decisions on final line adoption. Merchandising team identifies the assortment makes volume decisions and establishes the pricing and gross margins. Now, the line presentation marketing stage. The styles to be adopted in the line are reviewed in the line review meeting attended by executive decision makers from sales, sourcing, finance, operations, planning and manufacturing. The product development team will order raw materials for more duplicates. Production planning and control division will carry out detailed costing and develop product specs. Marketing and merchandising teams will develop promotional materials for sales reps. Line is presented at markets to retail channels using sales samples by marketing team. Marketing and merchandising teams will review retail orders, compare with sales forecast and add or drop the styles, colors and sizes to come up with a final modified line. Next is a production planning. This is the pre-production stage. During the production planning stage of the product development process, sourcing decisions are made to identify which production facility will produce the approved styles in the line. The functions at this stage of the product development process will depend on what type of contractor will be used for production of the styles. 
translating the desired prototypes and first patterns to the complete size range for final production. Product development team will finalize the quality, production and process standards for manufacturing. Production planning and control division will manage the grading, marker making, planning and sourcing of both the material and the production. Quality, material and engineering specifications will be finalized by merchandising and production planning and the control division. And the last one is the line optimization stage. Merchandising team will review the final line against the orders, drop styles with in inadequate orders and replace with new styles, colors and sizes to optimize the line for profitability. If changes are made, the model will direct to previous phases as appropriate. This phase will continue while production is in progress. And now coming to the most creative part of it, the steps involved in creative design process. The concept stage sets the mood and covers everything from targeted demographic to trend infusion to color selection. The concept stage in development covers everything from your target customer, present trends to be infused, beginning stages of color selection and freezing the concept or inspiration. Identify your market and a person you are targeting. To start off, begin by researching everything there is to know about the target customer. First, identify him or her and try to learn everything about them, demographically, psychographically and everything in between, from the moment they wake up to where they hang out, the things they do and why they do it, their likes, dislikes, etc. Identify your competition as well and visit the shops where those labels and lines are being sold and check them out. This is another great way to get a glimpse of your customer as well. Finding answers for a few questions about the target customer sets the mood for the concept stage. Who is the target customer? Why would he or she pick that item? Are they the type of customer who values fashion over comfort? Do they prefer to be conservative and chic? What is your target customer's life stage? Birth era, baby boomer or millennial? Tell me about your psychographic profile. Are they yoga enthusiasts? Do they go rock climbing? Fashionable entrepreneurs? How about their buying behavior? Do they prefer to shop in outlets or online? Understanding your consumer's purchasing behavior and product usage which are very imperative for starting out. Once you have them answered, it will get easier to design a collection that's catered to the customer's taste. What key trends are to be infused? Trend reports, market analysis and forecasting are all included in your concept. Collect information on the information given by forecasting services or agencies like StyleSite and MudPie and more, like, which provide great insight into what is trending in the, in the fashion world. Select some of your favorites. You don't have to use them all, but it will help you throughout the illustration process. So this is an example for a trend report. A big trend this year is monochrome season after season. Designers showcase monochromatic scales or runway shows and in retail stores. Black and white is a classic, but what we are seeing in the upcoming seasons are shades of one color or a single color altogether. This is not the trend for the big and bold, but for elegant silhouettes with simple solid lines. Let's see about the fashion forecasting process. Fashion used to come from one source at a time, be it the street, the runways or the entertainment business. The interesting thing about today is that influences come from high and low, everything from couture to target. That's a saying given by Michael Kors. Forecasting should identify source, underlying pattern, direction, tempo, and forecasting attempts to project to project past trends into the future anticipates future developments by watching for signals of change in current situations and what is trend it can be emerging building or declining it has identifiable similarities across information sources like styles details etc characterized by a building awareness among consumers and that's about trend and now let's see into the seven steps which are involved in developing a forecast identifying the basic facts about past trends and forecasts determine the causes of change in the past 
determine the difference between past forecasts and actual behaviors, determine the factors likely to affect trends in the future, apply forecasting tools and techniques while paying attention to issues of accuracy and reliability, follow the forecast continually to determine reasons for significant deviations from expectations, revise the forecast when necessary. And now coming to the concept and inspiration. Once you know who your target is, you can identify a concept or inspiration. It can be anything from color, a period in time, a structure or architecture, a smell, a code, a muse. Once you have identified your concept or inspiration, the next step is to research everything about it like you did for your target customer and the trend forecasting. Identify the season you are designing for like spring, summer, resort or cruise, fall, winter, pre-fall, etc. Coming to the colors, how will you use colors, graphics and prints? Here we start to think how colors and graphics are going to be applied to our collection. Go through Pinterest, magazines, runway shows, Google searches, whatever else you can get your hands on to find imagery that helps to convey your concept. This is really important in displaying your point of view. It allows you to have a clear picture to refer back to later, especially when you find yourself stuck between multiple directions. While you're doing your research, start collecting a series of images from which you can draw mood and key colors. The mood and key colors will be used as reference for choosing the fabrics that will be appropriate for the season and market you are designing for. Coming to the design brief, the key with briefs is to be concise and gives a bird's eye view of the whole design requirement for better understanding to the various teams involved in the product development like the fashion designing team, sourcing, merchandising, production team and also the sales or marketing team etc. A good design brief helps smooth out some of the wrinkles and exactly gives the requirements in a nutshell while allowing scope for the designer to design. Take a look at who think your target market will be. It may be more than one group of people. Look at age, wants or needs, price points, etc. Then write down what they want. You can be specific with garment types, hem lengths, but also include the feel it wants to capture, such as young, fresh, nostalgic, and vintage. Set out the number of pieces you want for which category of customer. Example, you want to design three pieces for the young and fresh feel for the target market, and it should include one dress and two separates. For the vintage and nostalgic portion, do three dresses for daytime and one for the evening wear. Now, you should have a design brief because you know who your customers are, what they want, how you are going to deliver that to them, etc. This little bit of groundwork will result in a much more cohesive range that will suit not only your customers' needs better, but suit what you need better as well. Once you have this, identify shapes or silhouettes within the moods and images collected. Begin by experimenting with the shapes, silhouettes and color fabric combinations through a series of sketches. When you reach this point, you have officially started the design development process. Now, let's look into fabric, silhouettes, trims and all these things. The design development process is where you put your creativity on paper. During this process, ask yourself questions like, are there clean lines in your concept or should there be a print? Take silhouettes and play with different shapes and volumes. Alternatively, take a simple shape like a triangle or a rectangle and see how you can play around with it so it fits on the body. Go back and forth between sketches and experimenting with fabric on the mannequin. Like a sculptor, there is no right or wrong way to the design development process. It should be fun for you and a time for you to re really express yourself and experiment. Just make sure you have exhausted all your ideas before the editing process begins. From 50 sketches, make it a 25 and then again make it a 15. Remember to use the best work that conveys your story and is well merchandised. Now let us have a look at uh, what a tech pack is. It is one of the most crucial tools to developing the product and making the communication process more efficient between the designer and the manufacturer. Yet many designers overlook, the, overlook this vital step. You may be asking what a tech pack is, why you need it or how to make one. Let's break it down. 
A tech pack is an informative sheet that designers create to communicate with a manufacturer all necessary components needed to construct a product. Typically, designers will include measurements, materials, colors, trim, hardware, grading, labels, tags, etc. Any crucial aspect of your design needs to be described in your tech pack. The more detailed a tech pack is, the less room there is for error. Now let us have a look at uh, what a tech pack is. Why do you need a tech pack? With a tech pack, designers are more likely to get a sample or product made correctly with minimal errors. Supplying a tech pack to a manufacturer gives them a concrete guideline to your product. So without one, it can be difficult for manufacturers to translate your idea into an actual product. It also allows the manufacturer to make a product without having to refer back to the designer several times. When creating products, manufacturers can reference the tech pack to make sure they aren't overlooking any aspect of your design. Designers can use Adobe Illustrator to create a tech pack or work with a technical designer. Designers can also find templates online that can format the layout for you. Preparing the garment patterns from the tech packs. So there are examples of the tech packs which give information which are going to be really informative to prepare garment patterns. A garment pattern is used to literally cut out the fabric. Once a pattern has been made, a prototype is constructed. This is just as crucial as the other steps. The physical sample of your garment can highlight flaws not easily seen in a two-dimensional rendering. So uh, that image gives you examples for the patterns which have been uh, derived from the tech pack. Inside a well-detailed technical uh, package, you will find colorways, a list of materials and trims, flat drawings with stitch details shown, artwork specifications and an annotated spec with a point of measure guide. Each of these components help lay the groundwork for creating a more correct pattern as well as assist in the sewing process. Crucial measurements such as body length, sweep and sleeve length can easily be viewed in the technical package. These measurements allow the pattern maker to create a pattern even if they do not have a block to follow. The garment sketch can also direct the shape of the neckline and overall silhouette. Once all the pieces have been drafted, seam elements can more easily be determined based on the desired construction and finishing. These same finishing details help the sample maker understand the garment construction. Additionally, the list of trims and materials help them prepare and create an efficient order of operations. By starting to secure these details in the earlier stages of development, everything will go more smoothly. These steps are not a definite process and often need to be repeated, especially when developing a new brand or product category. While we prefer the tech pack pattern, tech pack, pattern prototype order, the flip side is that Edits may need to be made to the technical package after the pattern and prototype have been completed. Whether you do the pattern and then the tech pack or drape the garment and sew it before formalizing the measurements, the process isn't wrong. It's dictated by the type of the garment as much as personal preference. The important thing is to understand that under the umbrella of pattern making, a lot happens. So that's an example of detailing which has been highlighted. And uh, this is a tech pack example where the measurements have been, uh, have been highlighted and that's the range. So the range is, is adopted from after the pattern making has been done. And now let us have a look at uh, an example um, which shows the process of the mood board to the draft sketches. So this, uh, this mood board actually highlights uh, the architectural uh, the art, uh, the architectural features of a traditional uh, building the most important and significant uh, features of the architecture has been highlighted looking into the details of these features of the architecture the designer tries to develop rough sketches so these are the various steps that a designer has uh, taken to come down to the final sketches. The final sketches are these last six images which have colors, slots, details of the garments all included into the sketches. So the designer actually perceived the grid-like form of the building, the repetitive statues 
and the intricate motifs from the front door of the source of inspiration, the draped garments in the building's monk sculptures, and the circular shape of the rose window in the middle of the building. The designer transferred the selected images to elements related to clothing design. The decorative motif at the center of the front door was depicted as a series of lace-like strips and the circular window at the center of the building as a fur-like material. So that's an example for you. Hope the illustrations, the figures, the flowcharts, the deliberations and all these have given a clear understanding about this elaborate and complex product development process. The apparel product development process in apparel firms is growing. Companies concentrate on improving the cost effectiveness of the process by streamlining and shortening the product development cycle using the latest technologies and improving the market responsiveness. The digital product development process using virtual technologies provides the opportunity for companies to shrink the product development cycle time from months to days. Communicating the standards and specifications among supply chain uh, partners using tech packs that were developed during product development provides the opportunity for quality assurance and control in the garment manufacturing process. Actually, the success of a product in the apparel industry is determined by the interaction and integration of value, time, cost and quality. Thank you.